You're about to see something truly terrifying. That's a fox sneaking up on a woman in her front yard. From this angle, you can see the attack. She kicks the fox over and over, but the animal keeps coming back. It's biting her legs and scratching her arms as she tries to break free. The more I tried to get him to leave me alone, the more ver voraciously he came after me. He just wouldn't stop. And my fear was that he was going to trip me up and I would fall and he would attack my face. The fox won't give up. He latched into my the fatty part of your hand right between your thumb and your forefinger with all of his might and he held on and I, I tried to rip him off. I tried to swing him off. But then her neighbor shows up with a stick and at last the fox retreats. I will be grateful to him for the rest of my life and, and I, I just thank God that, that he heard me. Did it ever cross your mind that the fox might have rabies? It did, Megan, after the third or fourth approach from the fox because he was so persistent. Sure enough, the fox was later caught and it tested positive for rabies. Sherry Russo was treated right away and so far she says she's showing no signs that she contracted rabies. Rabies is a viral disease that is almost always fatal if not treated immediately. If you get bitten or even scratched, by a rabid animal, you need to go immediately to the doctor. Sherry is going to be fine, but what a traumatic experience. It felt like it was going to last forever. 